For 30 years, Jory Downer's gotten a rise out of bacon. Fermentation, I think, is a very fascinating thing. His is a sweet story of success. Um, we're all bread bakers at heart, regardless of whether you're making wedding cakes or cookies. At Venison's, his corner bakery at Evanston, Jory mastered the touch with flour, yeast, and sugar that's now earned him a place in the upper crust of food service. As part of the three-man Team USA, he beat out 11 other international squads in the World Cup baking competition in Paris. We knew France and Japan were gonna be tough. We didn't know about Denmark. Denmark was gonna be like the dark horse. This is food as Olympic sport, and for a year, Jory trained with his teammates in San Francisco five days a month, perfecting their recipes and their timing. I think that was the key to our success. You know, we had a plan. Good or bad, we had a plan. Facing off in a stadium setting, the teams have just eight hours to cook up five types of breads, dough sculptures, and sweets. My responsibility was yeasted breakfast pastry. I had the vinoiserie category. The winning entries included Jory's famous lemon blueberry tart. I had to make 15 pieces that weighed between 60 and 100 grams. The trick is, whatever one weighs, they all have to weigh. So that's the rub. This champion is also a gifted coach, sharing his technique for proper croissant glazing. Vince made a lot of progress today in his egg wash technique. You gotta avoid the puddling though, because when the croissants get to the oven and there's a excess eggs on that lamination, they're not gonna open up in the baking process. Winning advice from the baker with a trophy in the window, now savoring an international victory. It is especially sweet winning the coup de monde de la boulangerie. Did I say that right? Okay. <laughs> that sounded pretty good. Especially when you leave France in second place. By the way, the favorite flower of this Olympic level champion? Gold medal. <laughs>